Hey, all you ballers out there, this is Coach JC Runners coming to you with another baller challenge. In this video, Brody and I, father son, shooting three pointers, our mindset for this video was to treat three point shots from the top of the key like a 20 foot free throw. We were, that was our mindset the entire video. We were shooting up to the basket, never at the basket. And we were thinking about three pointers as just five feet farther than a free throw. It was really helped us mentally make a lot of free throws. We made 28 out of 33 for a scorching 85%. And Coach JC made 16 in a row. But we had a lot of fun with it. And the best part of this video for us was that it really ingrained the idea that three-pointers aren't that difficult when you get the right mindset. When you think about how big the basket is, we talked about this on our, our previous videos on form shooting, how you can fit three 28.5-inch basketballs into the rim at the same time, and you can fit two and a half, two to two and a half 29.5-inch basketballs. So that's a really good mindset thought for shooters when they're struggling with shooting the basketball, when they're having a hard time making threes or making free throws or whatever shot it is, to think about how big the basket really is. And a lot of coaches, a good coaching tip and point is to get up on a ladder for your team and drop three, if you're working with younger players, drop three 28.5 inch basketballs into the basket at the same time. Or if you're working with older players or club teams and, and want to give them confidence in their shooting or if they're struggling, drop two or, or try to get three 29.5 and show them how close it is to getting three 29.5 inch basketballs into the basket at the same time. So what Brody and I focused on here is getting to the spot. It took us about three minutes to, to put up 33 shots. We weren't rushing. We were just trying to get our shots up, work on our technique, work on our follow through, and then follow our shot to the basket. When you, when you rebound for yourself, it's a great way of ingraining shooting the ball with good form, landing properly, and then get into the basket as fast as you can to try to follow your shot, if you're not the one getting back on defense. All depending on what your, what your offensive and defensive sets are. But, but a great way to teach young players how to follow their shots is by self-rebounding. It's great to kick it out to them and get them lots of shots. But one of the best ways that they can work on following their shot is going and getting it. So again... To, to reiterate, this is, this is nothing more than form shooting from 20 feet. And we're adding our guide hand, obviously. So to follow up on, this, on the video that we just did on form shooting, we're moving back to 20 feet for players who can shoot the ball and not throw it at the basket. We don't want players to, especially young players, to throw the ball at the basket or, or shoot it with two hands because they don't have the strength yet to shoot it properly. So go back to the distance that works best for you. Could be three feet, could be five feet, could be a free throw, could be a three, could be an NBA three. These are, these are high school three-pointers, and that's what we're trying to do here is make these shots. And as always, good luck to all, and let it fly, and have fun with these baller challenges. Take care.